Despite having a surface temperature of around 5,505 degrees Celsius, 9,941 degrees Fahrenheit, making it impossible to host human life, astronomers have been able to determine how much an average person would weigh if they were to stand on the sun. Using a new technique that measures the brightness of such stars, astronomers believe they have discovered a way to measure surface gravity with an accuracy of 4 per center. Using this method, the researchers have confirmed that an average person would weigh 20 times more on the sun than on Earth, but would be 50 times lighter on a typical red giant star. The technique has been developed by a team led by University of Vienna's Thomas Callinger with University of British Columbia's Jamie Matthews. It is called the Autocorrelation Function Timescale Technique, or Timescale Technique for short, and uses subtle variations in the brightness of distant stars recorded by satellites such as Canada's MOST and NASA's Kepler missions. Knowing the surface gravity of a star is essentially knowing how much a person would weigh on that star. If stars had solid surfaces on which a person could stand, then their weight would change from star to star. On the Sun, for example, an average person would weigh 20 times more than on Earth. A red giant star, the far future fate of our sun, has a much weaker pull at its surface, so a person would be 50 times lighter. The new method allows scientists to measure surface gravity for stars too distant and too faint to apply current techniques. Since surface gravity depends on the star's mass and radius, just as a person's weight on Earth depends on its mass and radius, this technique will enable astronomers to better gauge the masses and sizes of distant stars. In particular, it will play a role in the study of planets beyond the solar system, many so distant that even the basic properties of the stars they orbit can't be measured accurately. If you don't know the star, you don't know the planet, said study CO author Professor Matthews. The size of an exoplanet is measured relative to the size of its parent star. If you find a planet around a star that you think is sun-like but is actually a giant, you may have fooled yourself into thinking you've found a habitable Earth-sized world. Our technique can tell you how big and bright is the star, and if a planet around it is the right size and temperature to have water oceans, and maybe life. Future space satellites will hunt for planets in the Goldilocks zones of their stars, named in such a way because they are not too hot, not too cold, but just right for liquid water oceans and maybe life. Future exoplanet surveys will need the best possible information about the stars they search if they're to correctly characterize any planets they find. The timescale technique is a simple but powerful tool that can be applied to the data from these searches to help understand the nature of stars like our Sun and to help find other planets like our Earth, added Kalinger.